Hello everyone, how is it going? It's Vandir here and today I'm gonna teach you how you can actually kill Trindamir that has his ultimate up. So we're gonna try to kill Trindamir through his ult, ignoring the ult basically. So in the first try there are two ways to do it, two, two ways we know. In the first try we're using Rice and as you just saw I killed the Trindamir roughly a second or two after he used his ult. So I'm gonna roll the clip in slow motion. So you can see he ults, and what I'm doing here, I use the auto attack, but it's meaningless here. I eat, and then I use Q on him, and he died. You may be wondering why. Well, it seems that Trindamir isn't secured against amplified damage. So Q is actually amplifying up to 80% bonus damage. So I use my E, you can see he drops to 120 HP, and then use I use my Q. Normally you cannot drop Trindamir below 30 HP, but because I have that extra damage, the amplified damage, and because he is low HP, I basically kill him. Here is another attempt of me trying to assassinate Trindamir in his ult, but as you can see I actually failed. He didn't drop below 30 HP, and therefore he survived. The reason why he survived is because I used my E before he ulted, not after that. So. That's basically that basically saved him. In this try, I'm just trying to show you that you cannot get through both ultimate and guardian angel. So I actually managed to surpass the Trindamir ult and kill him through his ultimate, but guardian angel saved him. A while ago, I made a video where a LeBlanc killed Trindamir through his ultimate and through his guardian angel, but this seems like a different bug or a different part of the bug. So Right now I'm gonna show you the second way you can actually kill the Trindamir through his ultimate. And this is also with amplified damage, but that damage comes from press the attack rune. So, as you can see right now, what we did, you're gonna see it in slow motion in a second again. So basically, Trindamir used his ult, Rise proc the press the attack by Vigar or anyone else could have done it as well. Then Trindamir used his spin into the cage, so he was stunned, and then he died. So, based on our observations, in this try you actually needed some form of hard CC to kill this target. So, here is another attempt, and we're doing it again. If you're not sure if the Trindamir ult is actually still up, you can track it on the left top corner, and you can see he is actually dying with his ultimate still being there. So, doing that with press the attack is a bit harder, because at best you have 12% amplified damage, so if he has 300 HP and you deal 12% bonus damage, your ability has to hit for at least 250 damage. If you don't deal at least 250 damage, you won't get through his 30 HP buffer that he has. So as you can see, this bug is possible with both press the attack and rises E, but it's really easy to do with rises E, so if you accidentally died as Trinomy versus Rise, it's probably not your fault. And this is the final try we did, and we actually managed to kill the Trindamir with just press the attack without the stun. So at the end when we did our last try we actually realized that hard CC wasn't needed at all. So the only thing that was needed is that you need to fully apply the press the attack after Trindamir actually ults. So you have to attack him three times to press the attack after he ults, if you attack once or twice before that you won't actually be able to kill him after that. So basically same in both Rises and Press the Attack case is that Trindamir ults, you either use Rises E or you proc Press the Attack, then you deal some damage, you don't, deal, you don't need that much damage on Rise, you need a bit more damage if it's Press the Attack, and basically he dies even if he still his ult up. So yeah, that pretty much sums up the video, just wanted to quickly show you this cool bug, and thanks to Canon for actually helping me out with the bug and actually telling me about it. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching, take care and have a good day.